Hello and welcome to a new Google Sheets tip in Practical Sheets. Today I'm going to show you how to create a dependent dropdown or conditional dropdown in Google Sheets. What do I mean with conditional dropdown? A traditional dropdown, I go here to data, data validation, and then I do, for example, list of items, and I put, let's say, we're talking about countries and cities, so I have here Colombia and USA and Canada and I go save. Yes, this is a traditional dropdown. You can say here, this is my country. And then I can have some cities. Again, data, data validation, list of items, and I can have some cities from the countries I just mentioned. Montreal, Vancouver. I have two dropdowns. The first one is for my countries and the second one is for my cities. Wouldn't it be nice if I could, once I choose my country, then this other dropdown would change depending on the country. So I have Colombia and when I choose Colombia, then I would only have Bogota as an option. And if I go to the USA, then I would only have as options Miami and Chicago. And if I go to Canada, then I would have as options Montreal and Vancouver. This is a dependent dropdown and I'm going to show you today how to do it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a list, a new sheet where I'm going to have my countries. And here I will have country and then I would have C. And I can have Canada, again, Montreal. This is the correspondence for sheets to know which cities are from which country. There are a couple of ways of doing it. This is my preferred one. Okay, I have my countries and my cities. That's it. That's the first step. The second step, I'm going to change this drop down so it takes the, the countries from this column. So I would say data, data validation. And then I'm not going to go to list of items, but list from a range. And the range is going to be this from A2 up to A. This means that it will start here and then go until the end of this column. So we hit save. And I have here my countries. Now it comes the, the tricky part is how to make the, this list is just the cities from this country. We can do it either in this sheet or in this one. It doesn't matter here. Let's change this to data. So I'm going to do an auxiliary list, a helper list here. It could be done with a, a couple of functions, with filter, with query. Let's do it with filter. Too. So we're going to filter these cities based on the value on this column. The value on this column should be equal to what I have chosen here. Give enter and as I chosen US, it will only bring me from this column the values that have US in column A. That is Miami and Boston. And if I choose instead of the US, I choose Colombia, then I here have Bogota and Medellin which are these two. And if I choose Canada, then I'm going to have these two. So here I have my helper list. Now the last step is to go here, say data, data validation, and we're going to choose instead of list of eight items, list from a range. And my range will be this one. I could put it, if, if it's going to be, if there's a possibility that it's, that it's going to be long then i could leave it open if i want maybe it's too much but it's just to be safe let's give it save and that's it here i have my canada and if i change to the us i have the us and if i change to colombia i could have the colombia so that's it that's what i wanted to show you today how to create dependent drop downs of two categories always i need this auxiliary list in Google Sheets. What I can change is the structure of my data. And for example, 
I could have this in other way. For example, I could have here my countries. This is another way of doing it. I like a lot this way because it's it, we only need two columns. This I would need if I have three countries, I need three columns. In a, if I have 10 countries, I need 10 columns. But sometimes, depending on the structure of your data, it's easier to do this way. Okay, this is another way of doing it. So what I'm going to do is these cities, I'm going to name them a name range that is called Canada. And this one, I'm going to name it USA. And this one, I'm going to name it Colombia. Here I'm going to have another list, but it will be different from this filter one. What I'm going to have here is I'm going to use the function indirect and indirect from this one also. I have here Colombia, then it will go and look for the name range Colombia. And I can see here that the name range Colombia is these cities. And then if I change this to the USA, again, here it will look for the name range called USA, which is this one G3 to G8. And the same if I change this to Canada, then it will look for the name range Canada, which is this F3 to F8, this one. So here it brings again the same cities. So I come to the same result in two different ways depending on the structure of my data. I think this is easier, but sometimes you have the data structured this way and it may work easier for you. There is a third way that is a bit more complex that I'll leave for a second part that is a bit easier in the execution because I don't need to create all these name ranges, but the formula is a bit more complex. So in the meantime, I'm going to leave you with these two methods and hopefully it will help you. And if not, you can leave me some suggestion in the comments so we can prove some other methods. I hope you like this. You can find the template files in my Patreon page. And if you like this kind of videos, you can subscribe to the channel where two times a week you'll find practical tips for Google Sheets. Thank you so much.